Welcome back to another Double Bogues Golf video, and today we are playing at Bill Ricca Country Club in Massachusetts. And the past few videos have been pretty rough, but today on a nice cloudy day that might start raining just a little bit near the end of our round, let's try to pick it back up and get back to our normal self of, well, still shanking a ton of golf balls. You're not here for great golf content, but at least you get some drone footage here. Let's get into the video. We're rocking the black on black today. What a great look. I always like being able to go to a golf course and dress comfortably. So we've got some black joggers, black sweatshirts. We're having a good time. So anyways, uh, first ball, first stroke. Three wood. Smell you later, ball. <sighs> really need to start like maybe going to the range beforehand or something. But yeah, as you can see, we're still actually using the two golf gloves um, one on my right hand as well because i'm still running into this issue with having like my right middle finger get cut open because i keep i don't know splitting open my skin and it's whatever i, I end up ditching it because i l lose it on a hole but for the first few holes we're still rocking it because we have a golf injury who would have thought here using a five iron from 225 away uh we we almost get there we don't hit it great though with a little flopper, we hit this one actually decent for the first time. I think this is the first decent golf shot uh, for the video so far, and we're at least on the green pretty much. These greens are not firm at all. Very, very soft, and we're going to have to like really hammer it home. And we're still short on that one, but at least a tap-in double par <laughs> to start the day. Woo! Hot start, man. Let's get right into it here. Par 3, 7 iron, 172 yards. I think we can get this there, or at least get it sh close, and we get it there. Skull the hell out of that ball, but thank goodness there's a bunker to stop us from going out of bounds. And you can see we're just trying to get it out, and I think we do a pretty decent job of that. We'll take it. For some reason, I'm just not happy with any shot that I hit. I just kind of want the ball to go in the middle. So if it doesn't go in the middle, then then I'm up kind of upset. But we've got a pretty long putt for par. Certainly can be able to get it close if we were good at this game. As you can see, we hit it too short in the first hole. We absolutely hit a rocket past. Oh, damn. Fucking And I think uh, Double Bogues putting the name of the channel at work here. We're trying to be consistent for you guys. So that's, I think, the only reason why we hit double bogeys is because, Nathan, why don't you tee that a little bit? as you can see, you can hear Dan asking for this and it comes relevant because we hit a grounder up the middle. At least it's a decent lie, but super Lafar and we hit it pretty well. Um, as you can see, I, I lost my right glove already. That I think I lost it on that par three. I guess it's a blessing. Not a blessing though, because we still are struggling big time. We we tried to do some work on the driving range. That work wasn't great, but for some reason, bunkers. Get me in a bunker. <laughs> we're, we're, we're able to get out pretty well and set up ourselves nicely for a putt for bogey. That's not right. That's not right. This channel isn't called single bogeys, double bogey golf. Come on. Obviously, we missed that one, and here. Oh boy. <laughs> Frustration coming out in full force. Uh, we just take this one. Uh, we're just still just trying to hit it. And we hit it pretty well. Once again, three woods actually looking pretty good. Here we're playing this shot as 125, 9 iron. You can see the pin pretty in front. And for some reason, we're still like kind of fading it. Not even fading it. The starting line of the ball is to the right every single time. And we find ourselves in the third bunker of the day. In four holes, three bunkers. Can we do it again? Let's get out of this. Dear God. We, we, <laughs> we couldn't go three for three with good bunker shots. But putt for par from a million miles away. We get it there surprisingly that is pretty good and tap in for bogey since this was a par five i think we're gonna hit this one okay all right if we're missing those then that's an issue but should have missed it just for the memes 
But this one's a really baby one. And we're moving on to this par three, 115 yards. And you're gonna be, you're gonna be really surprised to see how long it takes us to get to the green. It's not two shots to get to the green. <laughs> I'll tell you that. And forewarning, it's not three shots to get to the green either. <laughs> that one sailed. I really want to make my life easy, give it a little love tap, and here we go. Fourth shot. Why am I so zoomed in? Why? That's why. Right. <laughs> That's just dead. I'm just lifeless. <laughs> get me out of here. Don't know what I'm doing, just trying to just trying to get it there, and it's this this ball's rolling out of frame. <laughs> Doesn't even want to be here. <laughs> but we are on uh, a, a shot to save double par with a good putt and bang first one putt of the day there we go that's i guess that's the highlight of the hole double par being able to save it can we get on a roll can we get some momentum on not amazing it does go straight which is the first good thing of the day moral support by my buddy mike there but we did chunk it a little bit the club hit the ground beforehand but eight iron 150 let's go that was great. That was just a good golf swing that kind of went exactly where I wanted it to. A little bit too strong, obviously, just hitting the gym too much. So I think that's the issue. Too much time in the weight room. But we do a little bump and run. We don't get to where we want to be. But it's fine. It's one putt city. Obviously, we're going to be hitting this for par. Easy money. Called it. Can you believe it? Two one putts in a row. What are we doing right now? Still feeling good. We hit we hit par, so that's actually like almost a bogey for us. And here in a par three, 150 yards away still. Eight iron is on, man. We're finally figuring out. Just had to get warmed up for a little bit through the first five holes. But now, once again, our specialty. Nine iron bump and run. Let's get this one close. Let's hit another par on this hole. Let's feel good about ourselves. It's rolling. It's rolling. Ah. Tap in par. We were like two inches away. Buddy taps it in. And once again, three one putts in a row. How crazy is that? Another par three is 140 yards, nine iron. We're feeling good with our eight and nine irons right now. Can we continue? We can. It's not a dart onto the green. We just miss it. But it keeps drawing just a little bit to the left. Anyways... We've got a little bump and run with the 56 or a little chip shot, whatever you want to call it. And we get it relatively close. It's sitting pretty good. And we have another opportunity to make par. Another opportunity for a one putt. We'd be feeling really good if we hit four in a row, right? No way. Yes, freaking way. Let's go. Feeling great. That plus 13 is really deceiving because on the last technically three holes we're, we're feeling we're, we're playing pretty well here on the ninth hole we're actually using a seven iron first time playing at this course seven iron actually struck really well uh, i was told that there's like water like 200 yards out so wanted to lay up a little bit and here is a shot of my buddy mike who's actually good at golf we'll keep playing with i'm trying to convince him to make some content on this channel let me know if you actually want to see some good golf he's actually good at what he's doing um, anyways back to me Five iron from 190 yards away. Uh, when you're watching me, you can pretty much guarantee yourself it's not good golf. This one bounces over the bridge there and bounces out. Actually finds a way to hop over that little ravine, little river. So we got 130 with a nine iron. We were too close to the ball. We chunk the shit out of that one. We just missed the bunker though, sad, because I think we could have done a better job. We hit the bunker. This one's right on the edge. And to round out the day, one putt for bogey. Let's get this one in. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Yeah, we didn't hit this one. But leave a like if you enjoyed shooting out a video every single Thursday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.